expect to get a certain amount of points off the offensive glass. Well, they played the three-guard offense for the most part, but their big men really don't have any place for them. Pitts, nice shot. That's a two. Demir Pitts. Kane back to Pena for three. In and out. Rebound, Tenen. One of the best in NCAA rebounding. Pitts on the dribble penetration. Count the basket. And certainly he can't be happy right now in the last couple of possessions that Southern Miss has had. Well, Shaquille Johnson has struggled from three outside. That's the play they run so well. Pretty good looking play here. You get it to Tenen. He has the slam. And Marshall trailing by two. It's very important right now that Marshall settles down and gets into a flow. They don't live and die with jump shots, and that's the talent. Johnson gives it up. They're looking inside. Tenen has to come a little bit farther out. The baseline jumper, and he buries it. Well, he works awful hard on yes. the little things in the game. And he wants to get better. Nice job, Southern Miss defensively. Page doing a nice job on Pitts. Pitts banks <laughs> over the He two. called it. Going back inside. Not a whole lot going on. They try to get it up inside the cough. And in the offensive rebound and the putback. That is his. Here's a guy that is great. And Perry, he can do a little bit of everything on the inside. He rebounds, he scores, but he's a guy getting a second chance. Coach. Well, he's playing so much under control in this basketball game. And with more on the second chance, here's Jen Hildred. That he's been given a golden opportunity here at Marshall. Going inside, nice defense by the herd. Pena had the break, pass a little bit off the mark. Picks long three, nothing but net. Marshall has set it up again. Marshall dominating the board so far this afternoon, plus eight. Picks the floater, got it. And they have to get better from the foul line if they want to finish this season out in postseason play. Well, they've also struggled at home from the free throw line. Johnson, showtime, throw it down. And Pitt sets things up. Angelo Johnson gets knocked off the screen. Scoop and score. Pitt six for six. He's got 13. Rebound controlled by Spikes. Johnson draws the count. Attack, count the basket. Marshall out hustling Southern Miss on a number of plays. That's why Marshall holds on to a five point advantage here in the first half. Hey, I'm not exactly sure that's the shot that oh. Larry and Stacy wanted. Good hustle defense. Johnson comes up with a loose ball. They've got numbers and they throw it away. It's showtime, Dennis Tinden. This is, a, this is a team that has played well all season. He expects them to settle down. Oh, get that egg out of my basket. Goff with an emphatic block of the basketball. His 30th block of the season. Well, there you see great rotation there by, by Marshall. We talk about penetration. What you want to do is get rotation on the defensive end and shut that down. And another rejection. Goff with two big blocks. A good point guard really makes you look like a good coach. Coming off 18 versus SMU. Inside the cane. Big men passing the basketball. Page, a little pump fake on the dribble drive. Has it knocked away. Another block for Marshall. Picks up ahead to Kane. Alley. Oop! Great transition. It's really important right now that Marshall finishes this half off with good shot selection. Kane sizing Page up and then drops the deuce. Tremendous transition. Kicks the ball to Kane. He throws it ahead. The showing how selfish this Marshall team is. Ron, sometimes, I mean, they look so fluid. Welcome to the Pizza Hut Halftime Show. We are at intermission. We've had four ties, six lead changes in the first 20, and Marshall leads it by seven, along with Perry Clark and Jen Hildreth. I'm Ron Thule, and I think when you look at Marshall, what they did in the first 20 minutes, number one, they played smart. 
they played extremely smart, and they played with tremendous energy, Ron, uh, both offensively and defensively. You know, they attacked the basket, took advantage of that. Defensively, they rotated and helped each other. They took advantage of miscues offensively by Southern Miss and were, really did a great job in transition, smart with back cuts, and really took apart what Southern Miss was trying to do to him really played well. But as you know, Larry Eustacey, a very fiery coach, and I'm sure he's telling his team they need to pick up the energy at halftime. He said they're getting the looks they want on offense. They know they need to shoot over these guys who are big and long from Marshall. One thing they can't absorb, though, he said, was an 0-7 for performance from a guy like Neil Watson. They've had some turnovers. They've had some tough shots. They haven't had played good team defense the last couple of possessions. 8-0 run for Southern Miss getting back into the game. Johnson out it. Take a trip to the line, young man. That was a heck of a play. Johnson just penetrated, came on the spin, and used his strength to finish. You see, he makes a great spin, gets hit on the arm, finishes by throwing it off the glass. Come on now, you remember those days. <laughs> yes, I do, unfortunately. Inside, Tennant unties it. He plays really good in the low post. Off balance shot. Pitts can't get it to go again. Inside, Tinnon's there to clean it up. Great pass that time by Pena. He really found Tennant inside. But Pitts has missed his last five shots after hitting his first six. Trying to get fancy. Here comes Kane. Three on one. Pena! That's what Mr. Ken We've got a timeout, 11.38 to play in the ball game. Seating's on the line in Huntington. And right now Marshall leads it by four. Go inside, Tidden using the right hand. Bolden pulls up. Kane with a rebound. Tidden wanted the alley oop. Nobody saw him. Pena the shooter for three. That's a coach's call right there. Absolutely. There you see him coming down on a fast break. He has two guys, the guy underneath, and that's why the guys, the coaches tell the post guys, keep running because he dragged everybody. Marshall by two. Pena. Second in a row. Did it looking for position, gets it. Leans into it, held the basket, and we have a foul. This is, this is what Pitts does so well for Marshall. His post feed, little things like that great post feed that time. He was able to get the ball inside the tenant, and he was able to finish. But the key was the pass on that. They're now 9 of 20. Inside, Kane, great position and an outstanding pass. They don't concentrate. Watson still can't hit. And here comes Marshall Kane. Slam dunk. Well, he's got 15 in the ball game, and the lead goes to six. Watson has it rejected by Goff. Tinnen comes up with it. Southern Miss was looking for a foul on that play, but it was a good block. They actually had a run out, and they didn't take advantage of it. They wanted to make sure. Johnson and Jack Johnson is saying I was wide open down the floor. Here comes Mills. And he's just going to get something. No. Page, no. Pena's got it. Fouled with four seconds left. So the next stop for both teams will be the Conference USA Tournament next week in Memphis, Tennessee. But a big win for Marshall today. They win it 79-75. We want to thank everybody at Conference USA for all their help. The great games we've had in our inaugural season. We wish everyone the best of luck. They get ready for the tournament in Memphis. Coming up next, Colorado and Oregon State for Perry Clark, Jen Hildreth. I'm Ron Thulin. Thanks for watching and good afternoon from Huntington, West Virginia.